and welcome to Live with the Coopers and this is Slim Down Sundays. So I picked up a pile of mixed fish. So I really, really, really fancied fish pie. So here's my take on fish pie. I've used the pinch of nom recipe. It's gonna be in the description below so you can follow that. So let's get started. So the first thing I've done is I've chopped the potato, well, peeled, chopped, and chucked the potatoes on to boil, because obviously that's gonna be the mashed potato on the top. I didn't want to show you that because it's really, really boring. And the next step is I need 450 millilitres of fish stock. Spot on. And it's an ox okay, but apparently they don't do fish stock pots, which is a bit rubbish, but never mind. Just melt it all down. Surprisingly, it doesn't smell bad either. It smells quite pleasant. Okay, so I think I've got that done in there. So I need a nice big pan. Okay, so I add all of the fish stock into here. And this is where you add your fresh fish and just leave it cooked through it's for about five to ten minutes just so it's, it's cooked. I'd actually frozen this when I bought it a couple of days ago. So still a little bit frozen, so we'll cook that through. I'll leave her a bit longer than it needs to be. Turn up a little bit. Okay, so while that's cooking, I need four spring onions. I'm gonna leave it quite chunky because I think it needs a bit of a bite in there, really. Okay, so next then they say to saute the spring onions and the peas together. Now the peas are pretty much defrosted, so it's not gonna take a lot to do that. We do that in a separate frying pan. Right, I'm gonna just chuck the fish out of the way for a minute because it's still got a little while to go. So I'll chuck it on the heat over there. Okay. So I put a little bit of fry light in there because even though it's a non-stick pan, everything sticks. And I'm gonna chuck the onions in the bottom. And it only said to put a handful of peas in, but me and David and the baby love peas. So I'm gonna go for it. That's a lot of peas. <laughs> right, so the recipe always says serve with your favourite speed food, and I'm gonna use broccoli today. And maybe carrots, do you fancy carrots, David? So broccoli and carrots, I'm just going to prepare them now. I'm just going to chuck them in the same pan and not worry about them then. Okay, so I always leave the skin on, mainly because we're lazy, but it does actually have a really, really good taste to it. I'm not going to worry about doing too many because there's quite a lot of speed food in the pie itself and with the potatoes on top, it's going to be quite filling anyway. So I think I'll do a bit more. I'm not going to use a whole broccoli because as I said, it's going to be quite filling anyway and I don't want to waste it all. Again. And what's going to happen, obviously, carrots and broccoli don't cook at the same time. So after a little while, I'll just pull the broccoli out, chuck it in a bowl and reheat the like dinner. Okay, so the onions and the peas are done now pretty much. So the next thing, I'm just going to chop up a little bit of parsley ready. Um, I've not measured any of this, right? So. For all the recipe, if you're not very good at guessing. <clears throat> we love herbs, so more flavour the better. Okay, I'm just going to use that bit. Never waste fresh herbs either, chuck them in the freezer and they last freezing. Lovely. Parsley's chopped, and now 
I've still got quite a lot of liquid in there, so the peas probably went as defrosted as I thought. Um, it should be okay, okay because it's going to go in the oven anyway. So this goes at the bottom of the dish. now I'd say it's lovely and cooked it's been on for a while and it's done stress too much because it's gonna cook in the oven anyway and now you've got to just get the fish out make sure you leave that lovely sauce don't go chucking that away okay chuck the fish on top it smells incredible it's the smoked tail duck it's just beautiful Okay, so remember to keep the fish sauce and put that to one side because that's how you're going to make the lovely creamy sauce to fill the pie. So leave that there. Okay, so now I've removed the fish, it's time to make the sauce. The potatoes still are quite aren't ready for mashing yet, so I've got to keep a close eye on them so don't go too far. So, you've got the fish sauce here. There's still a little bit of fish in there, that's fine. And it's recommended that you use I forgot how to say it. Xanthum. Xanthum gel? No, what's it called? Xanthum gum. Xanthum gum is the agent that thickens here. We could not find it in our supermarket, so I am going to have to use flour and obviously we're going to have to sin that. I'll work out the sin value because I can't think of the top of my head now. Um, but it will be very high because it's between the three of us. And as everyone knows, to make a good sauce when you're thickening it, add the flour. You need to add the flour very slowly. Okay. I don't want it to go too thick because I've got a lot of fish to cover over there. And I'd rather it be too runny than not saucy enough. So you add the chopped up parsley. However much you desire, really. Don't go overpowering it though. And this is where I'm going to add some pepper as well, because we love pepper. Okay, loads of pepper. And I'm actually going to turn it off the heat now, because it's thickening up lovely. See the lid's coming? Okay, quark. This is the thing that makes it creamy. And we need three tablespoons of it. It's really important. <clears throat> that the sauce is off the heat when you add the quark. So that's like one and a half. <laughs> and I'm going to do that again and that's it then. Taste test. Mmm. That is stunning. Okay, so the sauce now needs to be poured over the fish and the spring onions. Once the sauce is in, give it a good stir. Obviously the filling is now complete. We need to mash some potato. I'm going to use a tiny bit of quoi. When I say tiny bit. A good tablespoon. So the recipe says, with the mashed potato, it'll look lovely if you pipe it on. I haven't got a piper, I haven't got time, I'm not fancy, so I am going to scoop it on and then I'm going to use a really nice fancy fork and spread it out evenly. Done! So now, chuck it in the oven for, I think it says, 10 to 20 minutes just so the mash goes nice and golden brown on the top just to make sure everything's warmed through and cooked through perfectly and I'm just going to take my extra veg off as well and then that can be reheated then once everything's ready to be served right so it's been 15 minutes I've gone to check on it all the sauce is bubbling up and the top has gone nice and golden brown so it's time to take it out mm -hmm. 